Gear! Yeah. We're, We're growing up without borders. And we would like to welcome you to Gifts for New Zealand. We are growing up without borders, a family of five traveling to every country in the world. It all began with a five week trip to Europe back in 2013, which then led to us traveling to now six continents in 98 countries. We've been blessed to spend many months here in New Zealand and explored everything from the very top to the very bottom. Are you ready to join the journey? Let's go. where we're staying. This is actually my friend's mom's house. Oh, Not nice. Anyway. Hold on, look at this beautiful kitchen. Wow. Nice, eh, hey, girls? Look at that baking, here we come. Yes, <laughs> and there's carpet, because we haven't had carpet, actually, and the last house there wasn't carpet, so this is nice. Oh, this is nice? What are you gonna do on the carpet? Work out. There's also a TV. Last place we didn't have a TV, so this is really cool. Yes, but we always use our nebula. So thankfully we have the nebula, which is a little can moving in a box. So we did use that at the last place. We just hit the grocery store, so now it's time to make some yummy pizza and some yummy salad first. First night here in Gisborne. This is day one for us here in Gisborne. We're gonna go do a little tour, and we have a beautiful, beautiful yes. day for it. So. Uh, where we're staying is right literally in the heart of the downtown and there's this little river So we're gonna go see if we can walk along it into the downtown area yes. Beautiful day eh, girls. Yeah. What does it feel like spring or winter? Spring for sure. <laughs> spring. For sure spring. It's funny because At night it actually gets really cold. So last night it went down to I don't know maybe like five degrees so really nippy and uh, But during the day it's it warms up gorgeous. What's interesting is the first European to discover New Zealand was actually this town here in Gisborne and there's a statue so. What was the guy's what? name? Do you remember? James Cook. James Cook. Beautiful lavender. Ooh. <laughs> here we go so we're not sure if this is the right way but we're gonna cross the river and then cross back on the other side. Wonder if the water level goes up higher. Don't think it goes too much higher. So we went the wrong way, so this is the correct path. Everyone here knows everyone. So every bike that rides by or person, they're like waving at the neighbors inside the homes. So we're total we're foreigners. We're the total foreigners here. We're the only ones that are gonna be like, who are you? And like <laughs> I heard there's a lot of retirees here, but I don't think so based on the sign. What does it I say? I don't like Mondays. I don't like Mondays. That's not somebody who's a retiree who wrote that. What do you think this is? Maybe for concerts, outdoor events? I think they're guys, yeah. Look at them go. They're rowers. Row, row, row your boat. You would normally think Gisborne is pronounced Gisborne, but they call it Gisborne. And uh, what else do they call it? Gibby? No, Gib what do they call it? No. Gizzy, Gizzy. They call it Gizzy. You wanna say it? Okay. They call it Gizzy. So I just spotted their train track and it's really cool how it goes across the water like that. Isn't that neat? It's really cool. Whoa, what is it, Angelique? It's a log boat. A big, huge log boat. A lot of Where do you think it's going? Um, China. <laughs> That's exactly what Maybe it is. China. What's crazy is when you're driving on the roads, you see big trucks transporting all the big things of logs on those windy little roads. You can imagine. 
craziness. You know the roads weren't too windy if we can watch a movie and we didn't even look up really. I was wondering how you did that. No, they were so... Me, I didn't even notice the girls watched a movie the whole drive from Napier to here and, and you're seriously about... it was like slow down to 25 kilometers an hour. But That's pretty slow. I feel the windiness. Yeah, I'm no. like, oh wait, we did go windy. No. We went from 100 to 20 to 45 to 25 to 100 to 45. Road. Oh yeah. no, no, no. I was like surprised you guys were in car sick. No, 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 no. I have James Cook statue. Yeah. I spotted a really good beach for surfing. Let's go see it. The war, 7 October 19, 1769. His name is Nick, young Nick. And basically he was on board with Captain Cook. Okay, so technically the young Nick was the one who found the land. That's what it says here. But if it weren't for Captain Cook, he wouldn't have found it. Oh, 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 and there he goes. He's gone. Look at that. What are we having here? What are you making, Asha? Like tofu red curry. You're making some yummy dinner. Mm -hmm. And what are you making, Chloe? I am making banana chocolate chip banana bread. And it's funny because it's a switch. Normally, I'd be cooking and she'd be baking. Mm. Okay. You're doing dessert, and Asha's making dinner. And what are you doing, Mom? Well, I'm getting the rice. I'm the sous chef in this house. Well, I'm just eating some snacks and just watching. I'll probably do some of the dishes after. And this is a finished result. First meal. Ajah likes first meal she made for the family. Mmm. This is a celebration. Where are we going, girls? Today for a picnic. And where are we going? Up the mountain, up this little hill where you get the view of the entire area. You are my pill, I swallow it Take me away to Neverland What colors Here we are! Here we go, they have a beautiful little picnic table here <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, maybe they're coming back for it. It looks like a water hat. What in the world? <laughs> <I know. laughs> Look at this, it's beautiful! All right, this is the middle of their winter. Julie, are you not frozen? Come on. Yes, it's a bit windy and a bit cold. She's got goosebumps. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> this is what it looks like here. It's so pretty. And if you wanted to, if you're up for it, you can actually walk all the way from the city center up here. And look at this yummalicious picnic we've got. And we even have some homemade banana bread for dessert. It is cold. It is cold. <laughs> I brought windbreakers. You want one? No, it's not that We're also wondering whose stupid idea it was to come up here and have a picnic because it's freezing ah! cold. <laughs> well, we were supposed to come here at lunchtime. Oh, yeah, it's lunchtime. For in the afternoon, what time is that? Oh, it's this is Spanish lunch. This is Latino style. A little late. <laughs> Usually when we're eating our family, we start laughing and I'm like dead laughing, like crying. But yeah, it's funny. Cause we're- <laughs> <laughs> Dead laughing? What? <laughs> dead laughing. Well, I get it. Mort de rire. That's a French expression. <laughs> you don't say that in English. Yes, we do. No, you don't. Dead laughing. That's not an English expression. Yeah, it is. No, it's is not. It? No. Comment below if you know. It's not. It is. Julia came here. Say no, 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 I'm hot. I'm hot. I don't need a sweater. She's the first one in the car. <laughs> oh, look, it's a dandelion. <laughs> Must be the last one here. <laughs> the sun goes down. We'll still be up, still be up. Don't care about the place we found. We'll still be up, still be up. Here you can see the shit. whole city down below. See the, look at See the car? See my bum? Ah, oh, take me with you. 
Oh, there's a car. <laughs> Try it, Chloe. So you might not be able to fully see the size of the city, but there's about 60,000 people who live here. So we ran into a problem. We looked east, we looked west, and it was deserted. We couldn't find Tyler Pat. So now we're on a hunt for him, <laughs> and he's not down here. He's nowhere. Okay, nowhere just to, to give you a little bit of insight, this is a really small place. We went that way and we lost that him. That way too. So we think he went this way. Yeah. Wow, so pretty. That's a fantail. That's a friendly bird coming to say hello again. There's another one in there. They're so friendly, just like That's the another. kiwis. There's so many. Yes. We're part way down, and I think it's a good idea that we turn around because he's not anywhere to be found. I don't want to walk to the And either we go all the way down to the bottom, or now we go back up and see if we can find him. Still haven't found Tyler. He'll appear soon. We decided to come back up and take in the beautiful views. Tyler Patton was found. He was found, he came. Oh yeah, look at this. This tree here must have been planted by Princess Diana. They call it a ho hu hu tawa -wa. Look at this gorgeous view. What in the world is that? definitely where it's at to come enjoy the views of Gisborne and uh, get your exercise and enjoy nature. Spinach, mushrooms, and onions. It's a surprise. Mm. Yummy. Mm. I think this is going to become a regular meal. It so, looks so good. In the end, so. we've got a yummy spinach dip. Like this is it. Ooh. Whoa, so delicious. Especially when you guys are styling it up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Julie and I went out for a walk this morning to just visit the little downtown of Gisborne, but we also came in here to EyeSight, which is their information center, to find out all the cool things to do. Mm -hmm. We only have a few days here, but we'll see what we can maybe squeeze into the video to show you guys. This is Gisborne. Let's yep. show them Napier, when, where we were. Napier. That's Napier down there in so Hawks Bay. about like Bay. three hours, I think, no? Um, uh, yeah, I forget how These many These are hours. where the hot springs are, so they're about 45 minutes away. So this is really cool. So this is like a traditional boat you can actually go set sailing on. This is the tandem biking on the ran railways, the hot springs. Oh, that looks nice. This is really cool. You can actually feed stingrays, like real stingrays in the nature. So this is where we are. And this here shows all the distances of the other cities. For example, Auckland, Murderer, our next destination. New Wellington, where we came from. Napier's three hours. Cool. So we're on the hunt for almost like a European cafe style place where they have a little sitting area outside. And I think we found one right here. We're basically by the river. They do have a nice sitting area. And the key is having Wi-Fi too. Oh yes, this is what I'm talking about. Good coffee. And Julia decided to get a frappe. Is it good? While we were at the cafe, we met a group of Maori women sitting there and they all had what you call a tamoko. And what this represents is their lineage and their heritage to what they call their whakapapa, so their, their ancestors. And it's something that you'll see here in New Zealand. I literally just saw someone wearing rubber boots. It wasn't him, but people walk down the street sometimes wearing rubber boots, and this guy is as well. This here is the beautiful Gisborne Library. Here we go, let's go. Something? Let's go, guys! Let's go to the market! <laughs> you think you're in a French village, Chloe? No. <laughs> so right now we are going to the 
their local market happens every Saturday. Let's go. There's music. Cheese, guys, go for cheese. Cheese. Hi. Hi. Much number? What are we getting? Oh, some yummy uh, feta. Thank you. Awesome. Kiwis are tough. It's like pouring rain. You notice not one person has an umbrella here. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So that's six dollars. Thank you. What'd you buy, Julia? Um, thing of honey. 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 Yummy. How did he have it? Oh, this is a lavender booth <laughs> here at the market. Yeah, no, it doesn't do this at all. Yummy. So we're gonna try the feta cheese that we got from the market, and this one has cumin seeds in it. Never had feta cheese. Maybe we'll like it so much we'll go back. Ah, can't get enough Let's of cheese. Let's try it. What are we gonna make? Well, a Greek salad, I guess. And mm. garlic bread. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. It's so good. <laughs> Oh, it's really yummy. Oh, I don't know if I'm just hungry or if nope. it's really good. It's good. <laughs> Let's try this one. Nothing like like the homemade stuff, eh? When you buy stuff at the store, I mean, you can still get good products, but there's something about like farmer's market. It tastes so yummy. Mm. It tastes like curd cheese, but we get in Canada. Both felt the squeakiness. It's really good. So good. We forgot to show you guys what our salads look like in the end, but this is what they look like. Yummy salad. And garlic bread. And garlic bread. And yummy cheese. So somebody on our channel told us to try lollies, and lollies are actually candies. So we're actually gonna try it on camera for you and tell you what we think. It looks like they're caramel candies. First of all, it smells really good because it smells like coconuts. Grab one. And I think, I don't know what they have in them, but they look like marshmallowy kind of things. I just realized I don't want to eat sugar too. But oh well. Bizarre. It's very different. I don't know how to explain it. Okay. Really if it wasn't for the marshmallows, I think it would actually be really good. This is chewy. Kind of like marshmallow. Okay, this sounds funny. I feel like it tastes like the ice cream that you get in Canada. Like the bubblegum ice cream. Oh yeah. Just like that. Maybe. Maybe a little. Oh good. Okay, test number two. Tyler apparently. <laughs> Bought some other stuff called pineapple lumps. Pineapple pump, pineapple kid. Oh, no, look. Pineapple lumps, oh, pineapple lumps. They're going to your stomach and they make you fat. Oh, pineapple lumps. <laughs> <laughs> Here, they're Julia, chewy. Try they it. are chewy ones. Come we'll try it, Julia. Yeah. Come try it, Julia. No. Mm. Does it taste like pineapple? Chocolatey. I like the chocolate. We are on our way to the grocery store and Chloe is going they're kiwi style. My shoes are soaking wet, <laughs> by the way. It's really funny. Sometimes we even see people wearing pajamas at the grocery store. So I saw a lady. But mind you, like she wasn't just wearing her pajamas, she was actually wearing her, um, what do you call it, like a house coat <laughs> and there were pajamas underneath. But she had a newborn baby. But still, I was like, what? <laughs> when in Rome, do as the Romans do. Eat good chocolate, you go barefoot. No. It just feels so wrong, doesn't it, Chloe? It does! She kept saying to me, I feel like I'm gonna get kicked out of the store because in our country, it is a big no-no to walk anywhere barefoot. You're already getting into the chocolate? Pass me some. What's for tonight's supper? Um, Mexican soup. This is the end result of our taco yummy soup. Guacamole. Mm -hmm. Chips. You stir that together, stir that together. Gonna get your chip, a big one, dip it in, grab as much as you can, probably around a tablespoon. That's good. 
and then you're gonna eat it. <laughs> <laughs> This is the after dinner <laughs> giggles that happens when Ashley eats food. Oh she starts giggling. <laughs> We're not in my notes. So tonight our parents went to the movies and us girls are gonna have like a girls' night. It's the perfect night to go watch a movie. You excited? Yeah. And we've got our handy dandy Nabula, so now let's see what we're gonna do. So easy to control it too. What are we gonna watch? It ain't no thing to do my thing, it's what I did. I woke up this morning and the girls are making me what Egg is it, Benedict. girls? Eggs Benedict. Oh my gosh, so yummy. This is the first time making it. Yum, yum, yum. All right, we found the beach where to go surfing, guys. This is it. This is it. All right, here we go. I'm going on a tour. The Arboretum here is, is, is very unique in as much as that we have a very boreal arc, if you will, mm -hmm. uh, a place of repository, a safe haven for trees um, that allows us to um, ultimately become a, um, a living collection focus on those endangered species um, and we're trying to make sure that we've got them growing up. Um, these ones over here were recently planted for example. So there's a little seed just germinating. This is a Pinus toriana and Pinus toriana is a critically endangered species in Northwest America. Wow. This is um, an Oricaria angustifolia, critically endangered species of South America. Is it the same one as this? Yes, just a smaller version, yep. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Taiwan. Taiwan. And there's only three locations in the world which, which we call ex situ. So mm -hmm. ex situ from their native environment, but in a collection. This is one of, a, we're only one of three that we know of, three locations in the world where this tree grows. Wow. And we're just trying to get as many of them propagated as possible to help. Wow. Interaction. So that's this ominous hen. So Did there. you girls know that there was trees that are going extinct? Mm. I never really thought of it, no. to be so, honest. you got your um, wine cork, your wine bottles. Oh yeah, yeah. So what they would do is they'd strip the bark off up to probably about two, two, three meters. They'd strip the bark off completely and then they would literally puncture the cork. And that tree is native of Malawi in Africa. Oh, Malawi. And that's another tree which is um, extremely critically endangered. That's the tree they thought was extinct in the wild until they found a couple more. And that tree, um, is was heavily reduced in its numbers because it's really good firewood. Is it this one right here? Like the, the one that's the one that's sort of in the back. In the, the back. The really tall one, the tallest one here the, that's uh, evergreen. That's yeah, got the, the yeah. needles on it. Got it. Clearly, 
they don't touch because they need to let the air in? Yeah. And then they, it's just like a natural phenomenon. Like yeah, it's yeah. pretty amazing, isn't yeah. it? Not just these trees, other, other tree species do it, but these guys do it really well here. Yeah. It's pretty cool, though. Yeah, it is. Mm, so cool. No, we're actually like, oh my God, This is like the this. perfect amount of space yeah. between each tree, too, isn't that neat? That's it. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Okay, so here to come in today is basically $15 per adult. And you can actually get one, it's $28, and you can have a whole family, up to four kids. And a single child is $2. Yeah, and they do these tours, so you go on the little buggy tour, um, so they can educate you and explain to you all the different trees, where they come from around the world. And um, basically, they have a long-term vision to put I guess order into the place because the way the trees are planted are every um, you know country and all mixed together but eventually they're gonna put it by area so you can feel like you're walking through the world yeah. by seeing the different trees of those different countries so the guy who bought this massive 300 acre land started it because he was gonna do sheep farming and uh, his name was Douglas Cook, and he got put out to go to the army, uh, yeah, World War I in Gallipoli. And then he came back, he fell in love with all these different trees and started just basically planting all these different trees. And he spent probably about 500,000 pounds by the time he got all seeds and the trees shipped over. And when he ended up selling it in the end, it was really important for him to keep it as an ar arboretum he ended up selling it for only 5,000 pounds, which was uh, basically nothing. All right, so this here is a memorial ball. What is it, girls? I think water comes out of it normally, no? Yeah, there's water at the museum in Wellington, and it spins with water around and you yeah, spin it. But that's the same thing like this one. I think it's turned off. Well, girls, what was your favorite thing here at Eastwood Hill? So something that I loved was when we were when we stopped and we got out and we looked up at those trees. That was just incredible. I was just like, I could sit out here for hours. Seriously, it was really fascinating. I thought it was really cool to go inside. The, there was a little shed, and inside there you could see all the plants starting to grow. And I can't imagine what they'll be like in the future. It'll be so yeah. big. What about you? Is it like? I really like the trees. Like when you look up oh. and see all the... Thanks so much for watching our tour of Gisborne, New Zealand. Comment down below where you're watching from. We'll see you next time. Bye!